Hey, what's up everybody? So the clip you just saw is uh, some test footage that I've been working on today, uh, setting up my green screen and just recording some sample footage uh, to do some tests for this new short film that I want to work on, uh, sort of taking my game idea and turning it into a short film. And uh, so it's very sci-fi based. Uh, so I wanted to try to, you know, test out some lights and see if I could do some acting against the green screen. Um, and see how that would work in Unreal Engine and then um, you know do the color grading and everything in DaVinci Resolve. So here's my current workflow for how I created that clip uh, that you just saw. So uh, here's my green screen setup uh, in my room. It's pretty basic. I've just got a you know a, a stand and uh, a cloth green screen set up pretty far behind uh, my folding chair that I'm sitting in. Uh, I've got a little c-stand with a uh, colored light purple light in my face I knew I was going to be like touching a, a screen or something like that so I wanted some kind of a reflection off my face for that and so I went ahead and set that light up and then I've just got a couple of just plain white lights back uh, in the back uh, for the green screen to light that up way too many wrinkles in this green screen so far I need to uh, uh, steam that and get all of those out uh, it wasn't very easy to key so uh, I'll make all of this better but this was just my test so here's how I keyed this green screen video in DaVinci Resolve and exported it as an EXR file and imported that into Unreal Engine. All right, so here's the footage that I recorded with my green screen and uh, it's obviously very uh, dull looking. It's, I recorded this with the uh, log setting in my Blackmagic uh, 4K camera um, so I could pull it into DaVinci and do some um, editing on it here. Um, but as you can see, I'm just kind of sitting there. I've got it zoomed in so that you know, it's fairly close. Um, I'm acting like I'm punching some buttons and, and kind of looking around, um, reaching up, you know, just kind of doing some movement just so I can kind of see how this is going to look uh, in Unreal Engine. So I did some basic color grading here on it just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. I really should have used more lights uh, on myself with the green screen uh, and I should have done more to cut uh, out this uh, rim light. I thought this was going to be a good idea and it, it doesn't look terrible but it uh, does kind of make it difficult for the keying because I kind of have a green haze along the, the edge here so lots more work to do on my green screen um, setup so that it makes it easier to chroma. Uh, for this I used the fusion tab and I just set up a basic uh, HSL keyer. Um, I think that I could in 18 Dot one, I could have used the 3D keyer. I'll experiment with that next and maybe do an update for this video if there's an easier process. This is just the, the way that I already kind of knew how to, to key the footage. Uh, I had to bump the gain and the contrast on it a little bit so I could separate myself from the screen a little bit better. Um, so anyway, it's a good enough result for my test. So from here, I went to the uh, Deliver tab and uh, I selected um, uh, EXR for the format and uh, I want to make sure this is checked, the export alpha. This is what will uh, make all of this uh, black background into an alpha mask in Unreal Engine. Um, and so that's pretty much it. So I just add it to my render queue and I render it out. And uh, it will, you know, based upon the location that you give it here, it's going to put a whole bunch of files. It's one file per frame basically for the EXR, but it gives you lots of color data inside each one of those files that can be used in tools like DaVinci Resolve for um, you know uh, more data when you're color grading or anything like that. So uh, now that I've exported this, we'll switch over to Unreal Engine and I'll show you how I pulled that in. So over in Unreal Engine 5.1, uh, this is my uh, current version of my project. Uh, with my sequencer, um, got a little bit of camera movement. These are all the, the things that you saw in the clip at the beginning, um, minus the uh, additional stuff I've done in DaVinci Resolve since then, but I'll get into that in the next segment of this video. I'll talk about how I did uh, the final color grading and some other things, uh, sound design, um, just to kind of make that clip that you saw at the very beginning. Uh, so at any rate, here is how you pull in the EXR file that you exported from DaVinci Resolve. Uh, with your alpha mask uh, from the previous step. Um, so you create um, a new image media source. Uh, you right click, you got your media, and uh, from here you can do your uh, image media source. Um, and 
for this one, let's see, my sequence path, you basically just have to go and just select the very first file uh, of the EXR output. You know, the EXR is a whole bunch of files, one per per uh, frame, and just select the first one for this, and, and it'll see everything else, and uh, it will automatically uh, populate all the other things. You want to make sure that, you know, you're using 24 frames per second um, here for the most uh, filmic quality possible. Um, and so once you have that, then uh, it is in your content drawer and you can basically just, you know, drag it onto the screen. So um, I probably should do another video that's step by step of exactly how to do this. I think there's a couple out there already. If you do a search for this, this is just uh, a sort of my project uh, already in progress. Uh, so at any rate, let's uh, jump back over here. Let's uh, look at the default viewport and I'll show you kind of uh, how this is laid out. So obviously everything is based on the camera view and there's there's nothing nothing else other than what's going to be shown in the camera. Um, and so let's see here. There's my green screen footage right there. And so this is just, um, you know, this media plate that you just drag onto there it automatically pretty much sets everything for you uh, for me it already had the transparency um, so let's see uh, and then you know I would drag, would drag it down and add it to the uh, sequencer here so that it uh, shows up and it's able to play uh, everything else that I have um, here all of these other assets are from Kitbash 3D I think that this is from the Cyber District kit maybe or something I don't know, I just kind of grabbed a few things just that looked kind of um, sci-fi looking um, that could kind of fill out um, the the scene. So let's see, uh, switch back over to here. So you can see I've got uh, my camera settings so that, um, you know, th uh, my green screen footage is in focus. Everything else is sort of in the distance with the, um, the depth. Uh, I'm using a 50 millimeter prime here for that look. Uh, let's see what else is special here. Um, I think my exposure probably, my, I typically do this in a post-process volume, but I think since this was just some test footage, I just did it directly on the camera. So let's see here, where is the, uh, the lens information? Here we go, this is it. Uh, so under exposure and lens, you want to have this set to manual um, and then you want to kind of adjust this out so that it, you know, looks kind of, you know, how you want it to be. So uh, what was this before? 5.9 or something, uh, something like that. Anyway, you can play around with some of this stuff. Uh, there are lots of, of effects here that you can add onto this. I typically do these things in DaVinci Resolve, though. I, I like the, the quality of the effects a little bit better than the real time engine here. Um, so another thing you'll notice here that I've done, I've added a bunch of lights. I've got a purple light um, in here. Let's see. There we go. There's all the game things. Uh, if you hit G on the keyboard, by the way, that will show or hide all of the game elements. Um, and so I've got, you know, a purple light here and I've got a blue light here and a white light back here just to kind of fill all of this stuff out. Uh, this was the light that I have uh, on my face in the green screen, obviously. Um, I kind of have my, my LED color light shining in my, in my glasses there. That's that's kind of a, a no-no for filming, but once again, test footage. So uh, you can see I've got all these things, and then I've got this uh, dust or smoke um, Niagara effect. Um, this is, it's okay. I just kind of needed a little bit more movement in there, but honestly, like in situations like this, it kind of pulls the green screen character out because it's, I had a hard time getting it to show in front of the the green screen um, card it shows behind it and if I had added that to the footage that would look a little bit better but in this case it kind of you can see that separation and it doesn't look very good to me so anyway once you build your scene here um, and another thing here you can um, you can pick your angle like this is not the original angle that I filmed um, at I've dropped the camera a little bit lower than than it was when I originally filmed it so you can kind of do whatever you want to do here. I think my next experiment with this, I'm going to try a walking character and put them, um, you know, to where they're kind of walking across the screen or something. So uh, once you have everything lined up here the way that you want it, you want to go to um, your movie render queue. Um, you know, you want to, um, in my case, 
I want to export as EXR again because I'm going to pull this into DaVinci Resolve. Uh, so I want to export as EXR sequence from uh, Unreal Engine that gives me, you know, a file per frame, but also more colored data uh, inside of each um, uh, file. Uh, I want to use my anti-aliasing here. I want to use color output. Uh, I think that I could be doing some different configuration here that would make this a little bit better. I'm still learning about this, um, but this is the way that I currently do it. All of this is, you know, work in progress as uh, I expand upon my hobby and try to uh, to make better and better looking short films. So anyway, have all of this render local. Uh, after that, I have my folder full of EXR files, and now I'm ready to pull them back into DaVinci Resolve and do a little bit of final color grading, a um, little bit of maybe video effect and some sound design. And so let's get to that next. All right, so to wrap this up, now we're back in uh, DaVinci Resolve, and um, this is my um, current basic test footage. I just did some very basic uh, sound design here. I pulled in some... Um, sound effects that I had just locally on my NAS. I'm using this uh, cinematic score for Blade Runner, Blade Runner Suspense, whatever this is from. I think this is from a pack that I bought from Triune um, Digital Video, the Film Riot guys. I bought a big pack from them last Black, Black Friday and uh, had a bunch of royalty free cinematic scores that I just kind of use, you know, whenever. I'm doing some test footage just to kind of give it a feel or something. So anyway, I use that here. Um, and uh, so uh, to bring the EXR clip in, let's see, let's go to the media tab here. You have to um, import media. I'm sorry. Yes, that's right. So import media and you just go and you find uh, the EXR files. Uh, this is where I had saved it from my green screen, green screen tests. Uh, movie renders, you select the first one, um, you go all the way down to the end, and you hold shift, you select the other one, you hit open, uh, and it will import that in. Now obviously I've already got it here, um, so I won't do that again, um, but let's see, where are we here? Um, and So I did something odd with the color configuration probably coming out of Unreal Engine, and it, the footage came in really dark. Um, but that was okay because it had plenty of uh, color data in it so that I could adjust the mids and the highlights. Uh, but I'll figure more out uh, how to make this better and, and make an updated video that shows uh, what I've learned since then. But obviously this was fine. It, it didn't really cause any issues. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, I've got an adjustment clip here. I like to do this in my um, color grading uh, in projects for DaVinci Resolve. You add an adjustment clip on top of everything else and whatever you want to affect the entire video, all of the clips all at once, you just add to the adjustment clip. So like uh, in this case, I add most of my video effects or my the uh, film grain, um, uh, film convert uh, nitro or whatever I'm using here for the film grain effect. Uh, I add, add all of those things to the adjustment clip so they are automatically, are automatically applied to uh, all of the clips. Uh, and I've just got a little lower third here that just denotes this as test footage just so that uh, everyone sees that, that I'm not really trying to pass this off as a production-ready um, uh, video. Anyway, uh, so the other interesting thing here maybe is the color tab. Um, uh, like I said, on the original, uh, I had to, you know, kind of crank the uh, gamma and the gain a little bit for, uh, for the clip. And then uh, I added some additional things to it. This uh, halation, which is like the glow. Um, I typically don't use the bloom a lot in Unreal Engine, uh, and I tried to add it here. Uh, I believe there's also a bloom plugin, but I, I've kind of been experimenting with this uh, uh, halation lately. It uh, has a neat effect, uh, and you can limit it to just the highlights or anything else. Uh, I've got a basic vignette here, so just to kind of give it that rounded edge filmic look uh, and I've added some very light film grain here because I knew that I was going to um, add more with uh, film convert and I do all of that stuff on the ad uh, adjustment clip here and so uh, let's see I believe I have this set up let's see uh, oh it's actually over in the edit tab so if you go here and then uh, this is where I have um, Film convert nitrate and um, 
you know I just I actually used the 4k setting here because that's what my green screen was but it made the Unreal Engine stuff look pretty decent too so I kind of like that setting I just kind of messed around with a few things here I'm not great at at, uh, at uh, making this look um, very good yet but uh, so I just kind of made a few settings adjustments just to kind of make it look um, decent anyway this is, this is what we've got so um, uh, obviously it pans out I've got a little bit of the sound design there um, I don't know maybe this is like a, a end of the world devastation thing or something maybe and and this guy is doing something important I don't know what this is like I said test footage <laughs> anyway thanks for watching this I hope it's been helpful uh, if you learned something um, give it a like um, leave me a comment if you have questions about it um, if there's interest in doing a full um, maybe like a live stream or something where I do this this entire type of thing from start to end uh, and you see the in, every step and as opposed to me just coming in at the end and showing you my finished product let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys would like um, and I can make that happen uh, anyway make sure you subscribe if you like this type of stuff I've got lots more of this coming so uh, thanks for watching <laughs> Pass